name is Fred Flores. I had a lot to do with what we're doing here today after 10 years. You know, it's amazing what, I've, what we've accomplished in these last 10 years, uh, pulling a group of dedicated volunteers to bring together every year this uh, fabulous parade for veterans and only veterans, and having the elected officials work with us on this, on this uh, project has been a tremendous uh, help for us. I want to personally thank Councilman Felipe Fuentes. He's been, uh, he's been a very strong partner in this this year. As well as Assembly Member Boca Negre, I see Cong Congressman Cardenas is here. Thank you, and uh, the mayors. And, and but the, one of the guys I want to uh, congratulate and thank him was Councilman Bob Bloomingfield. He's with the uh, Councilman represents the West Side of San Fernando Valley. But the first three years of this parade, I had him. He worked with me. He wasn't a councilman, so I was able to work late hours with him and keep him keep him up all night. Uh, working the script, typing it up, and uh, he was dedicated to this parade. So I wanted to give this this community a little history of a councilman now who had his hands engrenched in this parade for about three years. Even though he continues now, just because he's a councilman, it doesn't mean he doesn't stop helping us. He gives us buses, he helps us with the funds, funds that we need. But I wanted to step up tonight and thank him very much personally for helping me, Bob and uh, being committed to the veterans here in the community. He's here for the greatest country on earth, the United States of America! We call your attention to the color guard, and please join me in welcoming longtime friend, Mr. Richard Isaias, Chaplain, Assistant Vice Commander, Military Order of the Purple Heart, Post 83 San Fernando Valley Chapter. Good morning. Dear Heavenly Father, we gather today to remember our, our military personnel. Lord, today we seek to honor your sons and daughters who have served or who are serving our country. We acknowledge that their service enables us to walk as free men and women in this great land. We are reminded that because of their service, we can live in safety. May their service time be rewarded in every way. Father, we also give special recognition to our wounded warriors. We realize that many of our heroes are dealing with physical, emotional wounds that occurred as, re as a result of time service in our country. We ask that you would be given the best treatment available and that, we, and that you would add your supernatural blessings to all their efforts given to them to help them. We ask that you, Lord, would show them miracles as they seek to gain health, stability, and wholeness. Lord, we ask that you provide our mil military personnel with your protection, your strength, your peace. We ask that you would abundantly provide for all their needs. We ask that you would protect their families from hurt and harm. May each of our veterans feel honored, not just today, but every day. We pray these things in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Please, let's hear it for Chaplain Richard Esaias. It is now with great pleasure that I bring up Marine Benny Nahar, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise. All right, Daniel, we are. Let us begin. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Marine Benny Nahar, it is with pleasure that I now introduce to you one of our young talents in our valley, the young Sarah Yesenia Romero, who will sing the national anthem. The Honorable Fuentes Councilman Fuentes Council District 7. Councilman Fuentes. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody feeling? Come on, how's everybody feeling? All right, it is my honor to represent this district, but even more so to have been here. Thank you very much. Let's give another round of applause to Felipe Fuentes for his great leadership as a council member, as assembly member before that. Thank you for having us here and for all that you've done. My colleague Bob Blumenfield as well, who serves 
here in the San Fernando Valley and helped put this together, as was mentioned. And of course, our great congressman out here, Tony Cardenas. It is always an honor to be with all three of you. And I want to thank the community. You know, I'm the first Valley boy to be elected mayor. And I remember growing up, we used to spend the weekends in Van Nuys at my grandparents. We all around us are heroes. Those who have served in the Air Force, in the Navy, in the Army, in the Marines, in the Coast Guard, those who are in the Guard, those who are in the Reserve, each one of them has put themselves on the line for our freedoms. So I'm such, uh, so it's such an honor today to be your Grand Marshal, an even greater honor to be your Mayor. And one last thing, it's not just today that we thank our veterans. As your Mayor, I've reestablished for the first time since World War II an office of Veterans Affairs in the City of Los Angeles in the Mayor's office. And Joseph Chicas, who's with us today, is our first coordinator. We are there to make sure that those who come home, come home not just with a smile and a hug and a thank you, but with housing, with education, with their health care met and their needs addressed. So I thank the VA and everybody else who's our partner in doing that. God bless the San Fernando Valley. God bless the men and women who have served this country. And God bless America. Thank you so much. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, you can do better than that. Our Grand Marshal, the Honorable Mayor of the City of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti. And of course, Felipe Fuentes for being so uh, keen to your word. Please join me in welcoming our Congressman, Tony Cardenas. Thank you very much, Bobby. And I want to especially thank Councilmember Felipe Fuentes because the fact of the matter is of all of the people here on this stage who are elected to office, the most important and powerful person to make sure that this parade happens is Councilmember Felipe Fuentes. And thank you for not skipping a beat. He's the new councilman of this area and he kept his commitment to this community to make sure that this is the 10th year. And I'm sure it'll be the 11th and 12th and 13th and so on and so forth. So we as Americans need to be there for them. It's not enough for us to appreciate the men and women who have given their lives for democracy here in our country and around the world. It is critical and important that we not forget the men and women who are among us today who may need our help. And they were willing to put their life on the line. The least we can do is put our tax dollars for them and with them and to make sure that we embrace them and welcome them back home in our communities. And today's parade is a great example of that welcome and that appreciation. But equally important, we have to put our money where our mouth is. Every time we spend a dollar for our troops who are in harm's way, maybe we should invest another dollar in our veterans so that when they come home, they are nurtured and protected for they have been willing to give their life for us. That's the least we can do for them. So once again, this parade is another way of us saying thank you, we love you, and we appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Congressman Tony Cardenas. The first three years, uh, he worked and uh, put together the script for this parade when he was a senior staff member for uh, Councilman Berman. He is now the city councilman in the West Valley. Please join me in welcoming Bob Blumenfield. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you all. It's so wonderful to be here. I do feel like I'm here. It's, it's like old home week. We've been out here every year for 10 years making this happen, and it's so great to see the thousands of people who... For the past five years, we have participated in this parade. This year, we carry a banner titled Honoring Service, Empowering Health. As you know, VA exists for only one purpose, and that is for veterans. The best way we can say thank you to our veterans is to serve them each day in our health care system. That means doing more than just meeting their health care needs. It means treating the whole veteran, their family, each of their needs. It's a personalized method of health care we call patient-centered care. The focus has led us to develop many new and innovative health care treatment programs. For example, we offer our veterans yoga, and Tai Chi, chiropractic, therapeutic drum circles. We are a center of innovation, piloting new programs to prevent veterans from having to take medications, but instead heal them through a whole person care. I challenge each of us today to offer our service, to say thank you to a veteran that you see, 